boo on my face from my um, different things being glued onto my face in the show. That sounds really weird, <laughs> but like little jewels and fake eyelashes and stuff. All right, so today, oops, I need to, hold on, hold on. There we go. So today, and feel free to go back to gallery view if you are in the room. Um, space out, space out. Today we're gonna to do a lot of mobility stuff and, and, and move so that we're freeing up our fascia. All the stuff that I'm doing is in that alignment, but um, especially today. So a lot of hydration, a lot of mobility, and let's get going. Starting, breathing, standing up, inhale, lift and open, and exhale to shake out on the way down. Little easy shake out. <sighs> inhale, big breath. Reach out, get as long and tall as you can, and maybe mo mobilize, stretching one arm and then the other as you're up there. Thinking of your hands and arms connected directly into your lungs and rib cage, indirectly to in directly to your heart. So you're as you're moving your arms, as you're moving your hands, as you're moving even your fingers, you're getting this movement through this whole area and letting that movement clear up anything that's kind of starting to calcify or get stuck or clacky. Inhale, lift, stay up there, stretch one side, stretch the other, just reaching through space, opening up. Ha. And then let's turn it into a spiral, twisting, looking around behind you. Yeah, usually I feel like this is a really important exercise to do, but when I do it on my own, I usually do like between 100 and 200 of these. So for a few minutes, um, it's also we're moving our spine, clearing up anything in there. Start to think of your spine as being really alive, a living system, which has, you know, the bones, your vertebrae that are protecting it. But coming down the middle is your spinal cord. So brain, brain, brainstem, spinal cord, all the way down into our sacrum, into our sacroiliac, moving into our pelvis. But thinking of those discs like cushy marshmallows that are supporting the spine. And sometimes like we see imaging of, uh, or like, oh, I've got a bulging disc or something, a herniated disc, things are happening. Thinking of movement as a way to readjust, recapitulate, renegotiate the space inside of our bodies so that those tissues, it's not like our, our discs are in there and they are just in one position all the time. They're moving around, right? And as we move, they move. The space in our spinal cord, right? This is an anti-spinal stenosis movement because we're moving so nothing can calcify and get stuck in there. All right, let's do another big breath in and up through the vertical plane. Exhale, bend your knees, drop it down, drop your head, shift from side to side. Again, freeing up the spine, letting the discs, the little cushy marshmallowy discs between the vertebra, letting the them just re-fluff. It's like you're fluffing the pillows of your discs, moving around, getting some freedom. And let it move so that you're really rippling from your tail to your head. Tail moves, it ripples through your spine to your head. Rib cage, lungs, and heart. Again, getting some movement. Breathing. And then come in. Let's just do a few plies here. So hands are going to be inside of your feet. Bending your knees over your toes, plie down, and then stretch butt up. Doesn't have to be your biggest stretch right now. We're just mobilizing the joints of the knees and the ankles. And our elbows, like my elbows straighten, and then as I go down, they bend. It might be different for you. Bending and straightening the legs, getting those quadriceps to start to engage and work. Hamstring stretching a little, just bending and stretching. Doesn't have to be that you're going for your biggest stretch right now. And then we're going to roll it up, coming all the way up, external rotation, internal rotation, right? And again, thinking of this relationship all the way down into your rib cage, lungs, and heart. Internally rotate, scoop, you can turn your legs in. Externally ro rotate, open. Internally rotate, and externally rotate. Again, this is spinal movement, cat-cow, with that nice movement through the tissues of your legs and arms. 
So this internal external rotation, we're mobilizing the tissue as well as the joints in our body. What is the tissue? A lot of it is fascia. There's a lot of fluid in there. So it's these spaces of density and fluidity that are mixed together in different ways. Come in, shake it all out, and then big circles with your pelvis. As you're moving your pelvis around, we're mobilizing the spine. And it's not like, oh, I'm gonna move my spine with as much tension as possible. It's like, oh, I'm letting it float around free and easy. No extra tension. Change direction. Letting your head free up. So this relationship of head tail is very free. Feet are very relaxed and easy. Uh, and you're mobilizing through your feet. So all of these joints from the hips, knees, and lots of joints in the feet are moving around. Then we're gonna do a little bit more with our feet. We're gonna go ball, point, ball, lower. Ball, point, ball, lower. Ball, try to make this pointing action really about your toes, right? So it's not like I'm picking up my leg. It's not my thigh lifting it. It's my toes are pointing and that's pushing my leg up. Doing it on the other side, just up and down a few times so that it's the strength of your toes that is pushing through the floor to lift that leg that little bit, right? That, as opposed to, I'm picking up my leg. So going back and forth a few more times, one foot and then the other, feeling your weight shift completely. Let's take it a little bit more so you really have to do a weight shift, find your balance, and then come down through your foot, weight shift through the toes, find your balance, and come back down. This is gonna be easier if you're actually looking forward and up, so we're not, down here. I mean, you can balance there too, but get into your sort of erect vertical human standing and then find your balance there. And if you feel like making this a little harder, you're going to go push your heel off the floor and come back down. Press up and come back down. I'm actually going to get on the hard floor like that. It's like when I'm on the cushy, it's a little different. Going up and down. Pressing, even if it's just an inch or two off the floor, coming up, pushing through your foot, then down, coming up. And then both feet together. We're gonna bend, straighten, press up, and lower. Bend, straighten, press up, and lower. Try not to do this. Try not to go like that, right? Try to get right in the middle. So you're aiming straight down, hips, knees, ankles, down through your toes. And that's a little bit weird, The what it looks like between my camera and the floor, but straight down, pressing up, landing and bending. So let's do it a little differently, still with the feet. You're gonna go up, pick it up, put it down, come down. Up, push through the toes, pick it up, down. So you don't have to stay up there forever, but you can get higher, lift, lower, come down. If you need to hold on to something, do that. Just feeling into the weight shift and also your verticality as I'm falling all over the place. A couple more times each side. Up, balance, bring it in, come down. Up, balance, bring it in, come down and relax. Yeah, we're going to do another thing with this and this is a hip and foot mob mobility thing. I'm just going to pull this out of the way, move it back a little bit. So what you're going to do is you're going to be standing, you're going to go toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, bring it back in, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, bring it in, toes, heel, toes, heel, toes. Heel. So what my body is doing on this is a little bit of movement with my leg, right? So I'm getting this mobility. Actually, in the hip socket, though, there's more mobility on the standing side than the working side because I'm kind of keeping this together. I'm getting this movement out and in, bringing it back. 
don't worry about being too perfect about this. Just let yourself move, letting your weight shift, opening up, your body's moving out, and then coming back in, right? Letting that leg have a variety of relationships to your torso as the turned in relationship, the turned out relationship, right? So we're moving the tissue through the leg, through the bones, into the joint, even giving our psoas deep inside this movement while we're going with that, right? Our organs are getting some movement. All right, let's take it down to the floor. And we're going to sit on our butts and just roll across one butt cheek and then the other. So I'm kind of curving my spine here and rounding down into the floor so that I can really get into the belly of my butt, the belly of my glutes and my rotators and my piriformis. For a lot of people, this gets really tight. A lot of people hold a lot of tension in their butts, can't figure out why, but we tend to do that. So I'm going to stay on one side and just mobilize. So I'm moving around. I'm not trying to engage my muscles. I'm trying to release trying to soften and getting sheer movement through the fascia by just mobilizing around, letting that whole, um, all of that different muscle, fascia, even the bone under there gets some mobility. I mean, the bone's not going to mobilize, but it's going to have movement happening around it and through it. Change, I mean, that's not entirely true. The bone is mobilizing, but just on a really small level in comparison mashing it out, massaging through your glutes just by rolling across it, circling around, doing whatever feels uh, helpful in your own body. Let's take it all the way down to the floor and then just keep with that opening and closing, spiraling through your legs, through your spine. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. If you want to take this a little deeper, go ahead. Yeah, use that big breathing as another means to stimulate your lymphatic system, right? Deep diaphragmatic breathing moves lymph. Uh, just reaching, spiraling, opening. This gives me a nice massage through the back of my shoulder blades, actually, when I do this. I feel like a lot of space in my rhomboids, the muscles between my shoulders. Let's come in and let's do some, uh, just some help lifting your pelvis, lifting up. Let's roll this time. So softening through your spine, rolling down. When you get to the bottom, you can arch so that there's space between your back and the floor. And then on the exhale, curl, roll it up. At the top, you're going to inhale, push with your feet. Chest is going to come to your chin. On the exhale, pull with your feet. Knees go away from your head and then soften and roll vertebra by, by vertebra down to the floor. And then arch, waist comes off the floor so you could slide your hand under your waist and then flatten that out, curl on the exhale, roll up. You're gonna push back, push with your feet, pull and roll it down through your spine all the way down to the floor. At the bottom, arch. So we're working this spinal mobility, roll it up, push back, pull forward, roll it down, all the way down to the floor. Arch, stick out your belly, open the chest and then flatten curl, roll it up. We're going to stay up this time. We're just going to push pull for a few pulses. Feel what parts of your body are working, right? I can feel my hamstrings and my quads like sort of shifting the, the engagement, but I'm also feeling the front of my ankles doing a little bit of work. So if the front of my ankles are working, what muscles are really working in there? Um, this is working. The front of your Shin, also known as your tibia, tibialis anterior, anterior tibialis. So this is your tibia, the front row bone, fibula is the one that's kind of here, tibia and fibula. This big muscle here, well, on most people, it's not that big. On me, it's big, is tibialis anterior. When you flex your foot and point, flexing, you can maybe see that indentation on my 
front of my shin. But when I'm doing this push pull, I can feel that working, right? I'm getting that working also. So like when we're doing things, sometimes people think, oh, I'm working my hamstrings. You're working your whole body in different ways. Roll it down through your spine and let's take the legs up, give them a shake, release the ankles, let that all shake around, free up your spine, ah, shake out your arms, let go of tension. And then happy baby pose, finding some babiness in your happy baby. So all of the shaking out is going to be mobilizing, right? You're mobilizing tissue on the shaking level. And if you can't, like if it's kind of not, if it's, if there's a lot of tension held there, it's going to be harder to shake. It won't shake as much. Shaking out is a great way to release tension, to release anxiety, just to let go, right? Think of the dog coming out of the water and that massive shake that they do. And then let's, uh, let's do hands on knees, big circles with your, um, thighs, femur head, thigh bone in the hip socket. And change direction. What are your feet doing? What do your feet want to do as you're doing this? See if you can let them be relaxed and easy. You don't need to point your toes. But you can move them around a little bit if that feels good. I changed direction. I don't know if I said to do that, but do it if you haven't. Lubricating up that hip socket, mobilizing the tissue, the fascia, and the joint in your body. And then we're going to open the feet wide and internally rotate one leg at a time, just stretching through the front of your quad and massaging across the hip. Right? So we're massaging through the part we're rolling across and we are lengthening the front of the quad. The floor can provide a great massage. This little cat, Squeaky Deaky, is, he really knows how to get attention. Bring it into center. Let's go feet on the floor fairly wide, like maybe shoulder distance apart and press up circles with your hips, big circles. Let your spine move, let your head even move so that you're freeing up the head tail connection. And you're getting this big mobility through your spine, back of the body working as your pelvis goes up, front of the body opening as the pelvis goes up, and then change direction the other way. Feeling your feet connecting into the floor, letting your head free up. So whatever your head wants to do, don't stabilize your head and neck. Let it move if that feels good. If that confuses you, then just don't do it. Just do whatever feels right to you. And then come in, lift as high as you can. Take your arms down, walk your feet in a little bit so that they're, maybe you can touch your heels. So we're gonna go up onto your tippy toes and lower. Tippy toes and lower. Trying to keep your pelvis high and down, up and down. If you want to, you can interlace your hands behind your butt, walk your shoulders closer together. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Use your breath up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Stay up, pulsing, push, one, two, three, four. You can push with your arms, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Arms open wide, lower the heels, roll it down through your spine. Breathing big into your lungs, coming in for a landing into the earth. Oh, thank you, gravity, for holding me on the earth. Gravity says you belong. You belong here because you haven't fallen off. So boom, here we all are. Let's roll from side to side. You, <laughs> gravity will hold you on the earth. Open it up and close. Or you can just stay, if you want to like really just massage out your back, just stay very relaxed as you roll from side to side. But if you want to do more opening, go ahead and unfold. It's really up to you. Listen to your own body. If you're somebody who follows the rules and does everything exactly right all the time, then try to break some rules. And if you're somebody who has to do your own thing all the time, 
try to follow and do exactly what I'm doing, right? So we want to expand our capacity for being through movement, right? We can go, oh, I'm, I'm somebody who always has to do my own thing. So let me just try and conform for a minute and do what, what Laura is doing. Or I'm somebody who's always doing it exactly right. I'm always following the teacher. Maybe try to find your own expression within that, just balancing out that idea of perfection and conformity with like freedom and free jazz improvisation, right? We wanna have some access to those both possibilities. Let's come in. And if you think that you're a person who like, is, no, I can only do it this way, that's just who I am, then you are imposing rigidity on who you are. Let that go. Let it go. Sometimes it works to do the same thing as everyone. Sometimes it's good to do something different. Let that just be a play, like a, a continuum where it's like, ah, oh, sometimes it's like that. Sometimes it's like that. Arms outside, side, legs up, shifting from side to side. And the way that I have learned so much about movement is through playing with doing it differently. And then also I'm building the relationship with my body, right? Building those neural pathways. So I go, oh, hmm. Here's one way. Oh, here's another way. Oh, when I do it like this, this happens. When I do it like that, this happens. Or that happens. And then come in and roll yourself back and forth, rolling through your spine, massaging through your back. Yeah, you and, and like, you could do it differently just by slowing it down, speeding it up, moving a different body part, like whatever it is, play with it every once in a while. And if that feels awkward and uncomfortable, that's good. That means you are challenging yourself to to see something different, to try something different, to be different, right? We are not amber. We're not flies in amber. We are living tissue. We are fluid systems. Oh, all right. What a big lecture. Okay, let's come onto our sides. Let's do uh, this one. So knees are going to be bent. You're going to inhale, lift, pelvis lifts, exhale, spiral, knees are on the floor. Inhale up, exhale, come down. Open, chest, lungs, and heart, spiral and twist. Unfurl and come down. Inhale, spiral, open it up and lower. Up, twist, lift, lower. Open, spiral, lift and lower up and let me also say <laughs> and i probably would do this sometimes like if you feel like what i'm saying is is like i don't need to hear that right now feel free to like just turn off the sound listen to something you want to listen to and move with me that's also always an option you don't need the lecture this morning that's cool just do the movement with your own choice of listening to whatever it is you want to listen to. All right, let's switch that around to the other side. Inhale up, exhale spiral, inhale open, bring it down. Inhale, exhale, open and lower. Up, down, lift, lower. Up, down, lift, and lower. Inhale, exhale, inhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, up, spiral, lift, up, spiral, lift, up, spiral, lift, two more. Last one. Good, and let's come sit on our butts. We're just gonna do this. First, we're gonna stretch, and now let's do it. Let's do the thing first. You're gonna go onto your side like this. 
lift up, lift your butt down, come onto your butt, shift it to the other side, lift up, come down, circle it around onto your side, press lower. We're doing, this is a mobility exercise. And why do we do this? What does this mobility business matter? This is called learning how to move your body and get around in different ways, right? Usually when they teach like a sort of fitness-based class in a gym, everyone's great at doing the exercise, but they're terrible at getting from one exercise to the other. And really life is usually not one exercise. It's all the transitions, right? So how do we go from place to place? With fluidity, with ease, this is gonna be our last one. And then come back up onto your butt. Ha, ah, let's go side side. So stretching over to one side and then inhale up the top and over to the other side. Opening it up sideways and open. Sideways, heart, lungs, rib cage, all those little intercostal muscles. So your costals, that's another word for your ribs. The intercostals, the little muscles between your ribs. Okay, and then we're going to actually bend our knees for this one. Sit in a cross-legged like position. Circling around, sideways, forward, coming around and open, changing direction. Opening up. Good. We're going to change legs and change exercise at the same time. So opposite non-dominant leg comes in front. Circling, mobilizing your spine, ribcage, lungs, heart, neck and jaw and tongue. Very relaxed. Right, so if we're holding something kind of rigidly, if we have a habit to holding something, then we're decreasing the flow inside of that area, right? Things that have some movement are going to have more free flow, change direction. And a lot of our holding patterns are very cultural about how we should or shouldn't look. Squeaky, squeaky. What is it? Oh, it must be his birthday. He's about a year old now. He was born in October of last year. Let's open up into a straddle, circle around. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's, lo he's looking for things, trouble to get into in here. That is what is happening right now. And he's learned that he's not supposed to be on the table. So he goes there to get attention. Arms out side side, stretch it over to one side. Inhale, lift over to the other side. Inhale, lift, take it down to your leg. And come up and down to the other side. And come up one more time, side stretch. And blossom open, other side, side stretch. And open through the space. Take it down to your leg. And come up. And the other leg. And come up. Okay, we're going to do one more thing here, another mobilizing exercise. And that will be, I mean, anytime we're moving, that's mobility, right? But in my opinion, mobility exercises are designed to make it easier to move. So you're letting go of tension. You're not adding tension. So we're going to bend both knees and you're just going to twist to one side, spiral around, come through both knees bent, twist the other side. We're just in a more open position. We do these spirals a lot, but we usually don't do them quite so open. So now we'll go a couple more times like this. Spiraling through. You're gonna come through. Once you get through, you're just gonna reach out through your legs. Then you're gonna bend them, take it to the other side, 
reach out through your legs. You can be away from center, bend them, roll it over, stretch it out, bring it in, roll it over, stretch it out, bring it in. So if I'm tighter, I might be here with that. That's fine, wherever you are. If you're more open, you might be practically going into a split every time. So really let it be what it is in your body. Right, reaching it out. Or it's here and I'm just stretching both legs, getting that spiral. And I'm letting my body do what it needs to do right now. So let this be your version of this movement, not necessarily my version. Good. And let's come in and walk your butt from side to side. Take a little walk backwards. And then a little walk forwards. Yeah, I have the three cats so that they can play with each other. And sometimes they do. But there is one cat that needs to play more than the other ones. All right, let's take it into a forward fold. And that's the baby. The squeak, who is just a year today or sometime this month. Breathe into your back, breathe into your hamstrings. You can wiggle a little bit, a little bit of micro movement to mobilize in this space. As we're doing like little micro movements in our stretches, we're just letting, again, letting that fascia, the form that holds the form of our body. So it's all the, if you were looking at a piece of raw chicken, like all the white stuff that's kind of holding it together and holding form. It's, it's even like there's tiny little bits of it that are like around each uh, fiber of like muscle or each, like if you look at a grapefruit, there's many different versions of the um, pulp, right? Of the stuff that's holding it together, the fibers, the white stuff in a grapefruit. Same thing within our bodies. It's like that, it's holding us together. All right, let's come onto our bellies and we're gonna do a, oh, let's just come down, relax for a second, bend your knees, roll your legs from side to side, massaging across your quads, relax your butt, let go. And then coming in, Arms out in front of you. Let's go opposite arm to leg, contralateral pattern. Inhale up, exhale down. Use your breath. Big breathing into your lungs, moving your diaphragm. Good, relax for a second, shake it out. We're gonna come all the way up and do regular old Pilates swimming with a pumping breath. So the pumping breath is a big, really pumping, breathing deep down into your lungs, pumping your diaphragm. Off we go. Take your hands next to your chest. Big inhale, open. And exhale, lowering it down. Inhale, lift. And exhale. Inhale, lift. And exhale. And one more inhale. Bend your knees if you want. Oh, I just popped my ankles. And take it back into a child's pose. Breathing in your child's pose. Wiggle around. Ah, let go. Soften the spine. Mobilize. Here's the pea pod. A little tiny manx tail. And let's... What do we want to do? What do I want to do? Let's do a little bit of weight stuff. So if you have weights, grab them. If you don't have weights, try using something like a... Uh, like a little water bottle or something like that. All right, so I've got three pound weights. I'm going to do the standing, coming up. 
you could go lighter, you could go heavier, whatever feels good to you. I'm going to let it uh, move down. So I'm gonna curl, uncurl. So it's just, just so that they don't fall, do not drop them on your foot. Uncurling down, curling, keep the curl happening through your wrist, through your elbow, up, oops, hitting my, there we go, up to the ceiling and then elbows come down, arm uncurls, wrist uncurls, fingers uncurl without dropping your weight, curl it up like a fiddlehead fern, up to the ceiling, taking it back down, all the way down, fingers uncurl, curling up. And then curling down. So we're not really doing this. <laughs> These are bicep curls, but we're doing a little bit more of a curl because if I'm really going in and I'm getting this whole fascial train moving through my arm to have more mobility, right? So we're not doing this like to work really hard with our muscles. We're doing this to mobilize the tissue. Maybe there's some work in the muscles, but getting that to move through. A couple more times. Elbows can go high. You can even take them back, let your ribs open a little bit, right? Getting stretched through the back of the arms, through your triceps, circling down, rolling it up. Take it back, bring it forward, roll it down. Let's turn our hands over. Hands are gonna lift, then they're gonna flip out, in, flip down, lower up, open, out, in, flip, and lower, up. This is the <laughs> so much time on a computer or on a cell phone typing or texting just to help us get that tissue in our forearm to mobilize. And then as we're thinking of that tissue, we're thinking all the way up in again to our heart and lungs. Uh, let's just do this. We're going to exaggerate this movement. So just this movement, but we're going to open the chest, close it in. Open, close. Open, close. If the weight is too much, take it out and close. And I'm letting my elbows, they're not squeezed into my side now. I'm giving them a little more freedom. And close, open, feeling the connection into your collarbone. Close, open, and close and open and close. Let's bend our knees, stick out your butt, going for a set of flies, pretty lightweight, opening out, going one. If you have heavier ones, go ahead and use them two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, keep going, eleven. 12, stop if you need to. I'm going to do three more. 13, 14, 15. Good. Coming up, circling your shoulders. And I am bending my elbow, feeling the connection into my hand and my wrist, and letting my weight shift, letting my spine mobilize, right? Getting a little bit more movement as I'm circling back. It doesn't have to look like what I'm doing. Just feel into your body to what feels good. Uh, let that go. Turning your head from side to side, let the arms hang down. Okay, we are going to, how do I wanna do this? Yeah, let's just take the hands hanging down there, externally rotate, look to the right, look to the left or the other way, either way. Internally rotate, turn your head one way, turn your head the other way. Externally rotate, turn one way, Turn the other way, internally rotate, turn, turn. Externally rotate, turn your head, turn your head. Internally rotate, turn your head, turn your head. Externally rotate, turn your head, turn your head. Internally rotate, turn your head, turn your head. We're changing it. Externally rotate, turn your head, look down towards the floor, look up, come into center, other side, look down towards the floor, look up, Come in, center, internally rotate. Turn it one way, look towards the floor, look up, bring it to center, other side, down towards the floor, up, come in. So we're just giving all that tissue through the arm, through the rotator cuff, through the shoulders, head and neck, a chance to be in a different relationship, right? Each of these relationships is just slightly different. 
which gives it more fluidity. You can get rid of your weights. And let's, uh, let's come down onto, let's come down onto our sides again. And we're going to do, let me just fix my camera. Some more circling for our hips and for our legs. So let's do it like this. Knees are going to be bent. And you're just going to draw your knee up towards you, turn it out, reach it down, straighten it out. So your knee is making a kind of, maybe it's not exactly a circle, an ellipse, something like that. Forward, up, out, and down. Using your breath. Lubricating up that hip socket. You can either point, flex, or just relax your foot and then changing direction. We're going to shoot it down, knee towards your shoulder and in. Breathing. Mobilizing. So we're not going to like, we're not going to like, oh, let's really work those muscles and engage them more. Most people are already doing that. Like you're already too engaged most of the time. See if you can make this fluid, easy and flowing, not tighter and harder. Let's come in. We're going to reach it back and then knee into your chest. So you can take your arm forward. Let's do I want to do it like that? Yes, I do. Arm away from your leg. So you're finding this big diagonal. Try and get your leg into the back space and then bring it in. Two, spiraling through your body. Three, four, five, six. Seven, I'm inhaling, open, exhaling, close. Eight, nine, 10, bend and grab. Quad stretch. If you can't grab your foot, try grabbing your pant leg, your sock, something else. Doesn't have to be exactly what I'm doing. Once you get there, and also if it hurts to draw your heel into your butt, just take it back further with it, without being so bent different ways to get in there. And then you're just going to slightly internally and externally rotate that leg from the hip socket. Squeaky. And then release, roll over onto your back, cross your ankle over your knee. Yeah, so the squeaky, squeaky deaky is part Siamese and Siamese tend to be very vocal cats. And he is definitely the talker in the family. Straighten your bottom knee if you want to. Hello. And then let's roll it over to the other side. Uh, and I totally forgot what we started with. Oh, yeah, I remember now. So you're going to be on your side, circling knee towards your chest, up, out, and down. Fluidity in the joint. And then change direction the other way. And again, you can point your foot, relax it, do whatever you want. I've got my assistant really getting involved in this one. Okay, now let's do the other one. So you're going to reach out, other leg goes back and in. Four. 
five more, five, four, three, two, last one, grab on, quad stretch. If I missed anything, it's totally squeaky deaky's fault. Turn it in and out if that feels good. Gaylord, it's right here too. Gaylord, come here. Come on. Come on. Oh, and there's the pea pod. All right. And then roll it over onto your back. Cross your ankle over your knee and draw it in. Breathe into it. Peapod. Ah, you can open it up, big stretch, and then come in. And let's do a hip stretch really quick, and then we'll do some scales before we finish. So I'm going to do ankle over my knee. <clears throat> Inhale, lift and open, and take it forward and down. So we're getting hamstring and hip here. Breathing. Really let your head release if you can. And then come up, foot on the floor, spiral, twist, get taller, look around behind you. Counter stretch in the other direction and come in, heel in towards your groin. Inhale, lift, take it down over your leg. Breathe into it. And then come up, open it out. Sideways, up over your leg, sideways toward the front. And inhale up, hand behind you on the floor, press up, arch it back, you're up onto your knee, big back bend, and circle it down and come in, and we'll switch to the other side. So ankle over your knee, inhale, lift, and exhale, fold it forward. Breathe, let go, relax your head if you can. And then come in, heel in towards your groin. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, take it down. And then bring it up, open out, sideways, over your leg, side stretch. Oh, I think I forgot to twist. Maybe, maybe we'll just come up and twist. <laughs> the cats are just a little distracting today. Okay, let's do the twist. Cross, spiral towards your knee. And then the other way. And then bring it back in. We're going to take it up and back into the arch, pushing the floor away, and circle it around and down. So one more mobility thing here along the floor, just rolling from one side to the other. Again, how we started massaging through your butt. Then we're going to take it, you're going to cross your foot in front like you're going to get up and then come down. You can push off the floor. You can use your hand as much as you need to. Just coming through. Hopefully you have enough padding under your knee to do this. Now we're gonna change it. You're just gonna come part way up and down. Shift part way up and down. Roll across your butt, massage it out. Part way up and down. Part way up 
and keep going all the way up. All right, and we're gonna come and just do a couple scales and then we'll be done. So we'll do the basics cross of axis, uh, which is, let's, let's start with you guys on your left today. Up, down, vertical dimension, crossing and opening, horizontal dimension, backwards and forwards, sagittal, other side. Vertical dimension up, down, horizontal dimension, crossed, open, take up space, sagittal, backwards, and forwards. First side, vertical, place high, place low, horizontal, side across, side open, sagittal, backwards, and forwards. Other side, vertical up, down, horizontal, side across, side open, sagittal, backwards, and forwards. And then we're gonna just do vertical plane. So we're gonna go high right, high left, low right, low left, high right, high left, low right, low left, high right, high left, low right, low left. We're gonna do horizontal plane and these guys really are, they're normally not in the mix like they are today. I don't know what it is, but we've been gone a lot because we've been doing the show. So it might just be neediness. So starting on your left, left forward middle, right forward middle, left back middle, right back middle. Like you're in a big table and you're touching the four corners of the table. Back, back, forward, forward, horizontal plane. Back, again, forward, forward, back. Back. And then the sagittal plane, the wheel plane. So we're going to do it slightly differently. You're going to go forward high, forward low, backward low, backward high, forward high, forward low, backward low, backward high. Same thing on the other side. They're same points. Forward high, forward low, backward low, backward high, forward high, forward low, backward low, backward high. All right, that's good. Inhale, open it up, reach out and up. Exhale, bend your knees, take it down. Shift again from side to side, feeling the weight shift through your feet, feeling the movement ripple through your back. Swaying, being like a tree, like you could be like a weeping willow swaying in the breeze. Ah, and then come in, roll it all the way up. Inhale, open, and exhale, let it go. And I am coming in, oh, Squeaky Deaky has chosen this moment to clean himself right there. I'm going to stop the live stream. If you have joined in this, feel free to buy me a coffee or anything else. You can also subscribe on Patreon.